Hello, this is Last Garden Standing again, and I'm very excited to bring this video to you because it's been a couple of weeks since I've even done one, so I'm just raring to go. I want to start a little greenhouse. It's going to be in my house. My garage is not set up for it, and I don't want to buy a real expensive thing to go outside, so I'm just going to show us some different ways to set it up. Not too expensive, right in your home. And I'm doing it downstairs, but you can do it in any room, really. Uh, one thing that we're going to do and that I'm going to bring to you is the racking itself. It is over there in the corner, but you're going to see that in a little bit. We're going to time lapse it and let you see how it's being built. It's really a simple one. I sent away on the internet for it and it was really a good deal. It's just been not very expensive. I also want to talk about the lighting. We're going to use some different kinds. Uh, one thing that you can do actually is use this plant aquarium type light. You can use it for fish tanks, but you can also use it for your plants starting in your little greenhouse. And it's probably the least expensive. It's 15 watt, 18 inches, and it's actually a T8 light bulb. And it's about this long. I'm going to put it into a lamp that I've had for years and just put that on the top shelf. And you'll see in a few minutes how I do that. On the second and third shelf, I'm going to put uh, these LED lights. They're kind of new at home. I got them at the retail store, Home Depot. And um, I like these because those that I just explained, this one, is actually going to, you're going to have to replace every single year because it loses it. But these, you won't have to do that. They're LED. And I like them because LED lights do not get, make your plants too hot. They uh, usually produce the right kind of lighting though, and it is, it's really good. So there's two LD, LED lights in there. That one, this is a 19 watt, all the way up to 20. 25 watt is just fine. I just, these happen to be that, so I went ahead and tried them. I'm going to have those on the middle shelf, the bottom shelf. And the way I'm going to hang the lights is either by bungee cords, I don't know, these are a few ideas. But we're going to try them. We're either going to hang them by bungee cord because at first you want the light approximately two inches from the plant at first. That makes a very strong, thick stem and it makes a good root system. If you put it up too high, then your plants become langy and they just don't have the foundation that they really need. So this way we can have it low and then higher the light up as it grows. But also you can do it with chains and these hooks. I got two different sizes because I wasn't sure what size to get. But uh, you can put those hooks on your rack, right on your rack, and you can put your light, hook the lights to the ends here, put that up on the rack, and then you can lower it or you can make it higher. Either way. So those are a couple ideas. I don't know which one will work, so let's So this is a finished product. I'm going to tie it down just a little bit better. We did use electrical tape, but you can use zip ties too, just as easy, or anything else you can think of. But they needed to stay more solid and down. They were bowing. So this is the finished rack. Now we're going to install the lights. And like I mentioned, here's a plant light too. If that's all you want is one plant, great for one or two plants. But what we're going to install is our LED lights and those lights that I had talked about at first, these um, shop lights, too. We're going to do that right on top, but there's no rack up here, so we're going to put a rack up there. So this is the first one. That's about how I'm going to do it. I am going to use those bungee cords. So let's do this. Put it all on that side. Okay. okay. There's one. 
Alright, we are going to raise it a little. Hooking two together, that's what I'm doing, two bungee cords together, just because it needs to be up a little higher. There we go. Now we're going to go down and just kind of wrap it around like I did this one. And see if we can't hook it. I like hooking it to the cord because then it might stay straight. We might even have to lower it just a hair. I think we do. I'm going to just lower this one. It just didn't work for me real good the first time, so I don't know. I think it needs to be lowered just a hair. There. Just kind of, we may have to even lower it a little bit more than that. Even. But the, you get the idea. I've got a um, surge protector that I'm going to plug in and plug all this stuff in. So we're going to do it that way. And then as far as the top row, you know, we may have that line over here that's going to be down in here for some of the real little seedlings. So there's how the line is going to go basically. You could also use these chains if you'd rather do it that way too. I'm sure it could have been done. And uh, that's about it. That's about how it's going to be set up. So this is last garden standing. And the next one that we're going to do, oh, first, we do have a plastic that's going to go over it. So when I come back, I'm, I'm going to just put this on and then I'm going to show you how that looks. So this is the finished product. The racking itself was only purchased for $20 over the internet. Uh, the most investment that I've done really was the lighting itself, which you can find at any retail. I got mine at Home Depot. So it doesn't take very much, and I've got this next video all ready to go. I'm so excited to get my plant started, and that's what we're going to do next time. We're going to show you the soil we use and how far we put the plant from the light, especially at first. You want that stem to be thick and strong, and you want a good root system. So we want to put it down kind of low on the plant first, and then as the plant grows, we raise the fixture light up, and that's why the bungee cord. Thank you. Share, like. This is Last Garden Standing. Uh, comment if you have any suggestions or anything else. I'm really excited for the next video, so tune in. Thank you.